it's me. Um, I've been wanting to do one of these videos on um, EMFs or electromagnetic frequencies um, emitted by cell phones and other um, wireless devices um, like microwaves, um, just handheld game consoles and um, Wi-Fi internet, but um, particularly cell phones because I have a lot of friends and just family who are like glued to these things constantly and like after seeing some of the research it kind of concerns me and like it's kind of hard to just like go up to someone and be like oh you know just stop using your cell phone or use it less or something I mean people are pretty much addicted to these fucking things by now um yeah there was this um study done by this guy hired by the cell phone industry to determine that cell phones were safe it was a 25 million dollar study done for six years and at the conclusion of that study, he found that cell phones disrupted just bodily processes. Um, they caused genetic damage, which is basically what leads to cancer in the rapid cell division. Um, then the brain tumors um, that are on the same side of the head that that are as the user uses their cell phone on, and just um, there's another study done um, on rats where they were put in a cage with um, cell phones that were emitting their frequencies and checked 50 days later versus a control group and there was blood vessel leakage in the brain and cellular death. Um, this is like just a big concern to me because these are pretty much everywhere now. A lot of people are just like, you know, they pretty much use them all the time. Like, it's like, what are you going to do? It's um, I know there's some class action lawsuits going up, and Congress has let them just continue with those. So, I mean, like, and I know there's, like, people in the stock market that are suggesting you get out of the cellular phone industry now because, obviously, when this all comes to light, there's going to be a crash in that. And, like, there's a lot of research. It's just, it's this really crazy thing. And, like, I guess, like, I just kind of wanted to get this out there. I could have done more on this and just familiarize myself with it more, but I just, you know, I kind of wanted to let people know that these things are probably dangerous and, you know, it's, it, they, they haven't been out that long, I mean, it's, for since like t the 20 years that, um, 20 years or so, I'm not exactly sure how long they've been out, but I know, um, brain cancer is up in children, 21%, which is just fucking ridiculous, I mean, in children, and like, and the general population is, um, somewhere around five percent I believe um, it's just pretty crazy I mean like I just rarely use mine anymore and I'm probably getting rid of it um, some suggestions I would have for some of you who are just like really into cell phones I know there's like some divide there's like some kind of things you can buy that are supposedly supposed to um, reduce the EMFs that are emitted um, and um, also, you can just, like, if you need to talk to people while you're at your house, just use, like, a regular corded phone instead of your cell phone. I mean, that's reducing a lot of exposure just there. I mean, they, um, I know there's this one thing where they, um, like, basically they went, like, they followed people who used their cell phone for approximately 30 minutes a day for a year, and that's, like, doing that for a year is like sticking your head in the microwave for like a minute and this it's just crazy I mean it raises the um, 30 minutes on a cell phone raises the temperature in your brain one degree Celsius and just it disrupts the um, cellular process and I know it like can, over time it can eventually break the bonds like I know it's not ionizing radiation but over time it will eventually do that and just yeah, I've been really concerned about this, so, like, a lot of people, like, I would suggest using your cell phone less. I mean, a lot of you, I know you're not going to be able to give it up. i just, like, keep it away from you when you're not using it. I mean, you can still leave it on, but just put it away from you in the room. I mean, just try to use it less. That, that's basically all I can say. I know there's a lot of just shit out about this, and, like, it's kind of concerning me, so... Yeah, that's my suggestions. I mean, I'll probably do a follow-up video for this, and if anyone wants to know, like, some products that you might be able to use um, to help reduce that or eliminate it, I don't know what's going to go on with this. I'm really hoping Congress just gets their shit together, because I think if we wait on this, like, we waited on tobacco, 
and waited on like lead paint and stuff like that. I mean, the government's not fucking looking out for us. I mean, it's like, it, by the time we found out these things are not safe, I mean, we're, there's already, the research is already coming in, it's accumulating, but I mean, by the time we find that out, I mean, this thing's gonna be turned into a fucking epidemic. I mean, there's two to three billion people, and I think it's, it's either two billion or three billion people in the world who use cell phones regularly, and I mean, that's just fucking insane. I mean, just, and we don't know what this is gonna do to people over just a span of 20, 30, 40 years. I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg, to use a cliche. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's some kind of susceptibility to this, kind of like how there is in cigarettes, like, just some people can smoke their whole lives and get nothing, and like, this could be something like that, but I mean, I don't think many of you should try to take that chance, but, um, yeah, this is just something I'd recommend, and, um, yeah, I guess that's it.